Salut à tous et à tous, on se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo sur Minecraft Story Mode épisode 2. La dernière vidéo c'était épisode 1. Et là, eh ben, on se retrouve pour l'épisode 2. Après la prochaine vidéo, épisode 3. Et là, ça sera l'épisode 2. Allez, bonne vision à tous. Abonnez-vous, mettez un euh, j'aime. Et un petit commentaire. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. Heroes can come from unlikely beginnings. And broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary deeds. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes thrown together by fate must now seek help from a legendary inventor but the question remains will it be enough to save the world Automated train tracks running all through the nether, connecting all the different order members? And imagine the scaffolding you'd need to make all this! Hey, Olivia, we're going to the order for a reason, okay? And that reason is because they'll know what to do. If we don't get the order back together, the Witherstorm is going to eat everything! We're gonna get to Eligard, get her to help us, and we're gonna save the world. I hope you're right. We definitely stand a better chance with Eligard's help. Uh, Jesse? <gasps>
go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> I never doubted you for a second, but... But that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look! There's the sign! Redstonia! Redstonia, here we come! about to meet the greatest redstone builders in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering. Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? Yeah. <clears throat> my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. But I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the Command Block! So please, continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch! Jesse, we need to get there before she totally locks herself in! Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligar, but I'm still pretty cool. Well, you need to take us to her. It's really, really important. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligar? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. The world is going to get eaten by a giant monster if you don't let us talk to Eligard. Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. 
Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Oh my. Well, that is interesting. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. Maybe that would help your mission. Might not be a bad idea. Okay, sure, that would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Guess we'll need to get another repeater. Right. Hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores? Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people are idiots. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do. But will I share it with you? <clears throat> no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Eligard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. Hi! Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Eligard's future protege might make, no? What am I looking at, exactly? This friend of mine is the bovine lava disco. Perfect fusion of my two loves, cows, and music. Eligard's gonna see it and make me her protege for sure. Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Uh, one of the key components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> Need a hand with anything? That's mighty groovy of you to offer, uh, but I'm doing just fine, thanks. So long as that dunderhead sticks over there. I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cows. Just stay away from that little uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. I saw you over there talking to him. What lies has he been telling you? What's he saying these days? What little lies is he whispering? I told him I wouldn't tell you, but... 
He thinks you're a cow killer. A real cow cruelty nut. That little ah. I'm about to show him. Hey, uh, yo, schoolboy. Uh, we're gonna have some words. Steal all my ideas, huh? That's what you're telling people. Guess I just call him like I see him. Ooh, you are just... Ah! Oh no, my machine! Oh, my cows! Ah, oh, something's gone wrong with the clock circuit. Ah, uh, the lava isn't switching with the water. Oh no, your amazing invention. You! You did this! Hey, I am not taking credit for any of this. That machine's been a cow death trap since block one. Oh, my cows! My poor cows! Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Bam! Door open. Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. Don't worry, pal. We'll find her. I just hope she can actually help us. I've ever seen in my life. You can say that again. Come on, let's keep moving. <laughs> what are those things even for? Maybe, I don't know, breaking things up, keeping intruders out. There are lots of possibilities. Okay, almost. Definitely a step in the right direction. Yeah. Nicely done, Jesse. You're pretty good at this. Hey, what can I say? Me and the Redstone just speak to each other. Uh-huh. She's moving a lot of different ingredients around here. Man, look at all this, huh? Whatever she's working on, if it requires all of these ingredients... Try not to touch anything until we know what it... I wasn't gonna touch anything. I was just going to look. 
really careful. Come on, let's keep moving. That's awesome. This is just like I dreamt it. Entering Eligard's laboratory, seeing her right there. She'll ask me to be her apprentice, and the next thing you know, we'll be changing the world together. Let's just try to save the world first. Time to pace back and forth and check the systems. Inventory request, operational. Delivery latency, speedy. Still talking to myself? Yep. Whoa. Hi! Hey! Didn't see you sneaking up on me. Guess that's the point. Don't touch anything in here, okay? It's all supremely fragile and genius. Did Calvin send you? You my new assistants? New assistants with a stupidly adorable <gasps> pig, that is! <laughs> Eligard. No time for specifics, I'm afraid. Hey, you! Goggle Girl. Switch on that T-flop circuit to activate the delivery chutes. And you, non-goggle guy? Grab me a blaze rod and an iron block. She wants me to do something for her. What if I screw it up? What if I... Oh, I feel lightheaded. Wow, now I need an assistant to help with my assistant. Think you can handle it on your own? Okay, delivery circuit is on. Blaze rod, iron block. All good on those, actually. Blaze rod. It's all tingly. Just what the engineer ordered. Uh, Eligard, I got those things you asked for? Ah, excellent. Fantastic. Love it. Always happy to have a capable set of hands around. Carrying materials, disposing of fainted assistants. <laughs> you know, 
that sort of thing. Fifty-one, another bust. Now, about you three. <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse me. Could you please not lie on my floor anymore? Someone's gonna trip over you while carrying lava, and it's gonna be such a mess. Lava everywhere. And boy, nothing gets lava out. Nothing. Except more lava. I don't think that I've ever fainted before. I was just so excited to meet you, and... And with me always pacing around, lost in my own brilliant thoughts. I, c I have to confess something, Eligard. We're not here to be your assistants. Whew, kinda glad, actually. What with Madame Faintslot over there. <laughs> so, why are you here? We're actually here to get your help. There's a giant witherstorm, and it's attacking the entire world. A wither what? What are you talking about? Who who sent you? Was it Calvin? You know about Ivor? He's created a terrible monster. Look, you both seem like very pleasant people who are prone to fainting, but I simply don't have the brain power for this. I'm in the middle of my greatest project to date. A powerful block capable of altering reality itself. Ooh, I'm so close, I can practically taste it. And it tastes like victory. I've seen one of those before. It's a command block. Wait, 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 wait. How do you know what a command block is? Not to seem belittling, but we are talking about some mega, ultra-genius level stuff here. So, yeah. I've seen one up close before. It was Ivor's. He's done something terrible with it. The world needs the Order of the Stone. That's why we're here. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. You're the ones who brought this. It came up, no note or anything, and I was terribly curious about where it had come from. Yes, the amulet. Gabriel gave it to me. That's how we found you. He did? So, could we have that back? Sure, whatever. I don't even like amulets. Yes, this is serious indeed. All the more reason why I need to finish my command block. I can use it to fight this Witherstorm monster thing, or whatever. Necessity is the originator of invention. And that monster is my necessity for inventing, of which I am the originator. That sounds perfect. Your Witherstorm problem was created by a command block, yes? That means a command block could be the perfect way of beating it. And maybe... Will you help me make one? It's going to work this time. I can feel it. You're the genius, Eligard. Let's get started. Fantastic.
Okay, just a little farther. Well, that's certainly impressive. Wow. Yeah. Jesse? Is that you? Lucas, did you build all of this? Well, yeah. I, I figured I would try and fortify the place, you know? Nice! I'm so glad you're back. And we brought Eligard! Fantastic! Quick, come on. You guys are never gonna believe who showed up while you were gone. up not too long before you guys. Elagard, my old friend. Boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. Maybe with you here, we actually stand a chance against this thing. Oh, how I've missed your optimistic spirit. Oh, and it's especially good to see you, Jesse. I fear that you might be the last face I ever saw. Getting here was... hard. I don't understand. How did you escape? If you hadn't pulled me out of the Witherstorm's clutches... Well, let's just not think about that. I came here to the temple, hoping against hope to find other survivors. It makes me glad that, even in these terrible times, this temple can stand as a stronghold, a symbol. Wow, did Petra get away too? Did you see? All that creature left in its wake was bedrock. All those people. Your friend Petra. No one could get away. It destroyed my home. I barely got away. It needs to be stopped. We are alive. That means there's still hope. Come along. Everyone else is still inside. time I saw this place. Would someone care to explain what he is doing here? Well, this isn't going to go well. Right. I forgot to mention. Axel went on a little adventure of his own while you were gone. An adventure to get him? Did you know about this? Why didn't you tell me? You did this on purpose. Everyone just coming and going around here. And this is a problem? You bet it is. I will not work with him. Not after... Mm, well, let's not talk about it. Look, just wait here a second while I figure out what's going on. Much appreciated. So, who are you then? And why'd you bring the Queen of the Nerds with you? That's Jesse, my best friend. Trust me, Jesse's totally cool. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll be the judge of that, huh? We are reuniting the Order of the Stone. I got tired of waiting around, so I decided to go recruit Magnus myself. It was kind of a crazy adventure, but it all worked out in the end. And now, I'm the king of Boomtown. Ah! We've been bonding and stuff. I've had, like, the best day. Way to go, Axel. Well, it wasn't easy. 
I had to beat him in a crazy tournament, and... Long story, you had to be there. Short version, epic battle of explosions and mayhem, death-defying action, shenanigans, and pyrotechnic. Bada-bing, bada-boom! Your friend here is kind of supreme ruler of my kingdom now, you know what I mean. Well, this is unexpected. I'm not entirely sure what you mean. But I'm definitely sure that I don't like it. Yeah, show him some respect. Oh, you're sticking up for Magnus. That's very... sweet. Would you all cut it out? Holy crap, you're all acting like crazy people! Uh, people, can we please focus on the bigger picture? We have a very hungry Witherstorm in the process of turning the whole world into its dinner? It was terrifying. It came out of nowhere and just destroyed everything. A little too scary for you, Ellie? Couldn't just think it away? You weren't there, Magnus. I'm telling you, this thing was like nothing I've ever seen. What? Would you two stop fighting? Whoa! Yikes. Jesse speaks the truth. We must find a way to defeat that monstrosity. Well, I don't know if you've had the chance to poke around this old dump yet, but it's pretty much stripped bare. It would take a mountain of TNT to kill that thing. I hate to say it, but you have a point. This is amazing. I know. Are they getting along? Can we start crafting some then? I don't think we got that kind of time. Against such an unthinkable enemy, even all the TNT in the world might not be enough. If only Soren were here, he might have something we could use. Oh, Ellie, not this again. Wait, Magnus. She may have a point. Soren did have certain objects, inventions. You know, I hate when you brag about you and Soren's little brainy club. I'm not bragging. I think I've got a legitimate idea here. There's something stronger than TNT? Soren had a kind of super TNT. Stronger and more explosive than anything else in the world. The Formida Bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard all about the F-Bomb before. F-Bomb? Yeah. Soren claimed that dropping the F-Bomb could destroy anything. But well, the Formidabomb sounds perfect. We should go get it, now. Well, there's a little problem there. We don't know where Soren is. But... You found Magnus and Eligard. Do... you know where he is? Our map could locate him. Unless he's in the nether, or the end. But it's worth a shot. I bet we can find him. Your light, my light. That's new. There he is. Soren had his fortress deep inside the mountains. After the order broke up, that's where he went to keep doing his experiments. Look, he invited me there a couple times, but it always seemed a little... Weird, right? It always seemed a little weird. Glad we can agree on that, 
at any rate. Then let's stop hanging around here and go get us some super TNT. Whoa. It didn't do that before. Are you sure it's working? Blue? Blue? That's Ivor! Ivor is going to Soren's. We need to move! It's not too far. We could probably make it on foot. Righteous! We'll get some rest and head out first thing in the morning. Avoiding all the nighttime and monsters and everything. If you had seen that monster, you wouldn't be saying that. We need to leave. Now! I think it's following us, Magnus. And I don't want to risk it catching up with us. We have to go. Now. I don't want to risk being outside when it gets dark. We should wait till morning so we can have a full day of sunlight. This here's talking a lot of sense. Let's just go with that plan. You're just saying that because it's your plan, but... Fine. Okay, everyone, rest up. We'll head out at first light, alright? Yo, we haven't really gotten a chance to chat yet. Oh, hello. So, you're Ellie's protege? <laughs> She's a piece of work, isn't she? Always thinking about all her redstone stuff. Always trying to show off how smart she is. I gotta ask, what's up with you guys? Why do you fight so much? I don't know. I don't know. We've been in too many tight situations together, and we've just never gotten along. Different strokes and all that. You know. Anyway, thanks for having my back before. I do appreciate it. How you liking being the leader of this little pack? I know I haven't been around here long, but even I can tell there's some unrest in the ranks. Especially between Axel and, uh, what's her name, uh, Olivia. I just wish people listened to me more. It's like, I have to make all these hard decisions and do all this hard work, but no one will even recognize me for it. Yeah, being a leader can really suck sometimes. Hopefully it all ends up being worth it. Anyway, small fry, let's get some sleep. We've got a long walk ahead of us in the morning. I'm not sure how the rest of you are feeling, but I feel fantastic. I think that a little sleep is just what I needed. Well, I'm glad you're in such high spirits, friend. I'm still feeling a touch under the weather myself. Uh, guys? This is exactly what I was afraid of. It caught up with us. Holy snack burglars! You weren't kidding. No. How could it find me again? We can hash all that out later, but we got some monsters to fight here, people. Yeah. <laughs> 
on, we gotta get out of here! I am getting very tired of this wither storm. Agreed! This creature never stopped! Soren's isn't much farther. We can make it! Soren's place has gotta be just ahead. Come on! Get out of here. Olivia and the others already went ahead. Wow. This architecture is incredible. Looks like the others already swam across. Guess we better catch up. walks away. That's it! I'm going! See? I'm walking away too now! Super TNT! Here I come! It's hard to pick glass half full when they keep kicking the glass over. And I thought they were doing so well. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Bickering is kind of their deal. But hopefully they'll work things out and get on with the important stuff. What are we gonna do now? Where should we go? Let's figure it out.
Gabriel, are you okay? I know it's not the best time, and I, I don't want to worry you. But there's something I'd like to discuss with you in private, Jesse. But let's split up. Risky, but I need to talk to you about a private matter. It's not the easiest thing to bring up. I don't want to worry the others. Hey, whatever it is, I trust you. You can tell me. Thank you for being so understanding. I'm so glad to see my old friends together again. I don't want to ruin it with this. What? You may have succeeded in getting me away from the Witherstorm, but I fear it was already too late. I noticed it not long after you saved me. What is that? What's wrong with your arm? Tell me, do you know what Wither is? The Wither? Of course. We've been... No, just Wither. Or Wither's sickness, to be more descriptive. It is something I've contracted before in my travels, but it always wears off. It seems that Ivor's monster exudes a Wither sickness that is decidedly more... fatal. Well, we're gonna go back and tell the others we can get help. No, Jesse. You can't tell anyone about this. Uh. Creeper, look out! Take my hand. I'll pull you up. My strength is compromised. I couldn't maintain my hold. I'm so sorry. Jesse. Are you all right? Hey, you're the one that's sick. Take care of yourself first. I'll be okay. Time to be a hero again. <laughs> Stay safe. I'll find a way down to you.
must have something useful in here. He has to! Hey, show yourself. Who's there? <gasps> you. Trying to interfere with my plans again, I see. Your tenacity is commendable, yet misguided. What are you doing down here? Being rudely interrupted by you, clearly. I'm here with the order to find Soren's Super TNT. We're gonna take down your Witherstorm. The order? <laughs> Believe me! That plan will blow up in their faces in more ways than one. They cannot help you. But me? I choose not to. Out of my way. Move! Sorry, Ivor, I'm... Stop right there, Ivor! <laughs> Gabriel! You're alive! Against all your best efforts, Ivor. Look at what you've done. I never dreamt that even you could be this twisted. Save your posturing, Gabriel. We both know your words have always been hollow. Just like the Order. They're not going anywhere, Ivor. At least not in one piece. <laughs> The threats pass harmlessly through me. But the girl, I'm not letting him leave either. I'm the only one who can stop the wither storm. Not you, not the order. Don't make yourselves the villains in my story. <laughs> Jesse, you could have just let me go. <laughs> now you see me, now you. <laughs> you could be anywhere, stay in your guard. Invisible or not, he isn't going to get by me. No! Stings, doesn't it? Please, Ivor, just stand down. This one's on you, you puffed up fool. Babblers never cease! What's going on? You found Ivor. You stopped him. Mm. False. You have stopped nothing. Query, have you ever seen the effects of a splash potion of slowness? <laughs> That 
they can destroy the Wither Storm? But they are mistaken. And it will cost them their lives. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. In pursuit of answers, all our heroes found in Sauron's armory was deceit and treachery. Locked in a dark chamber deep in Sauron's mountain, as the Order of the Stone rides off towards near certain doom, our heroes must ask themselves, would they find a way out of this dark tomb? Is there any way to cure Gabriel's wither sickness? Would they find a way to defeat the Wither Storm? Or will they remain trapped as it continues its ravenous rampage across the entire world? Only time will tell. Et voilà, c'est la fin de la vidéo, et la prochaine fois, on se retrouve pour une nouvelle vidéo sur l'épisode 3. Abonnez-vous, 